in the next couple of videos we are going to talk about the real in the next couple of videos we are going to talk about the core concepts of laravel framework how it's going to work what are the things you need to be care about about this laravel framework why these things because you can simply see here it's written when you're using any tool in a real time you feel more confident if you understand how that tool work and this is the main point and i'm going to explain you how actually laravel works from the core but the most important point is how this laravel starts the application if you are coming from core php world and if you have no knowledge of laravel then you probably know that every php project starts with index.php file but where we have index.php we can find that inside our root directory and that index.php is inside this public folder and yes you can see we have this index.php so let's understand what happens because again this is a php simply basically this framework is php framework so it need index.php and that index.php is doing very little amount of work but in this little amount it's doing much thing to start the application or to start the framework so first we are defining level start it's just a, a timestamp or we can say time duration so uh, let me introduce you with tinker 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 whatever you want to call it so it's like php artisan tinker so what this is so this is just like uh, your laravel framework in command line or in your terminal so i will copy this and i will paste it here hit enter and you can see we have this and every time we have same timestamp because that timestamp when we have started the tinker so if i restart the tinker rerun that yeah we have a new timestamp okay next it's saying auto loading if you are not familiar with auto loading it's just loading of all the packages and namespaces kind of things then yeah this is most important point which is turning on the lights so turning on the lights means we are going to require this bootstrap file so now where is this bootstrap file as we can see we need to go up a directory then in the bootstrap directory yeah we have this bootstrap directory then we have app.php this is the file we require so before moving forward in this index.php let's understand what this app.php is doing so here we will go on this app.php and it says now create the application so i think the name suggests app which is creating the application how it's creating the application it's creating the application by newing up this class which is application class so let's just open this application class and this application class is huge and you can see it actually create your application your laravel framework this application class extends container which is actually the most 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 important concept to be understand in laravel and this container we will talk about in next episode in depth but just it's think about just as a class which is extended here so what this application class have this has the latest version of which framework you have so 5.8.14 then base path then some of the things are defined here and most important point is these three things service provider loaded provider and deferred services so service provider as you can suggest from the name is going to provide the services to your application and again we will talk about service providers later but think about this that where we have defined all the classes which need to be started with the application so here we have then we have storage path environment dot env namespace and we can see here whenever we are typing new of this application we need to pass the root directory or root path actually so here again on the constructor we are getting the base path and then we are doing three things we are binding something 
and what do you mean by binding as the name suggests bind it connect various pieces of things into laravel framework or in the container so again think about container as the application or the framework for now so base binding so let's just click on this base binding so here in this base binding we are setting up the instances and we are saying that okay whenever i am talking about app give me this instant that means the class so next is these kind of things and then it says a file system and then base path and cache package path this is something important so get cache package path so whatever package you install on your laravel application will cache inside this bootstrap cache packages so all the information of packages you have is here so back to the constructor and you can see next is base service provider as i told you it register base service providers and these three is important extremely important to actually uh, able to run the application or the laravel framework okay and then we are saying register core container alias now again term container is coming so core container alias is alias for some of the important classes so whenever we are saying app we are having the instance of this class that means the application class and whenever we are saying request we are having this class so these are global helpers which we have or we can say alias so again on the tinker if i say request you can see we are having eliminate http request which is this one similarly if i say auth and hit enter we get auth manager eliminate auth manager which is here at the top eliminate auth auth manager so these three steps are extremely important which we have achieved by newing up this application class and this is the main functionality of application class so whenever we get the application class we are doing this singleton things three singleton things one is for web second is for cli that means again we are i told you this tinker is actually your framework on command line so whenever we have this actually these kernel files are responsible for that similarly when you are having web part these kernel files are responsible for that so let's see what this is we are saying app and then singleton what this singleton means for now just imagine singleton means i am saying to your application that hey application whenever i am talking about this class give me this class we are saying okay bind important interfaces so i am binding this interface with this class so whenever i am talking about this interface i will get this class so where this is this class is available so if i now go to this app http we have this kernel so it says app http kernel and similarly when we are on cli command line interface we need to go to app console and kernel so let's talk about the app http kernel you can see this http kernel is extending http kernel which is this one eliminate foundation http kernel and here we are implementing this class eliminate contract http kernel but wait uh, we know this class this is the same one we have here yeah eliminate contract http and app http kernel and that's the same so let's understand this in more detail so here we have contract file and we are saying to the application that okay swap this with app http kernel okay so we are saying whenever i am talking about this give me this but this app http kernel is extending illuminate foundation http kernel which is the actual file which implements this contract or this interface so what i am saying whenever i am talking about this interface give me the content of this file plus this file that means we are getting the content from this class because this class is extending this http kernel so we are getting all these things so this is very important because we are giving the ability to the user or the developer 
to do something on our app http kernel so that's why if you are following me from first episode we know middlewares are defined in this kernel file so we can define kernel file and because of this kind of binding we are moving from this contract via this kernel file to real kernel file of the laravel so this is i think is a complex thing but i'm sure if you are getting this you will going to enjoy laravel so we are having this this and this and then we simply we are returning so in index.php the most important part is requiring this app.php file so the most important part of app.php is the binding important interfaces and next on the index.php when we have the app with all the bindings then we are saying okay give me that kernel file you can see it says give me that kernel file app make means give me that kernel file and here we saw that whenever we are saying app singleton we are defining something and then we are getting something so we get the kernel and on that kernel we are handling the request then we are sending the request and at last we are having the terminate method and again if you are following me from middleware section you know this kernel terminate file will terminate all the middleware which implement terminate method so let me show you these things so again i will go to kernel and real kernel http kernel and search for terminate so yes we we can see we have a terminate method and it says call the terminate method on any terminable middleware which means if uh, the middleware has terminate method then call that and yes terminate middleware and yeah we are checking that if we have the terminate method here then only we are going to uh, call that terminate and this is how your laravel frameworks boots up or we can say start up or finally you can say that it turn on the light on your laravel framework so quickly let's repeat every step because this is very very important thing to learn and if you miss anything you are not going to understand the next part which is container so we go to the public on index.php because every php application is start with index.php then we are saying okay require auto loading that's good but require app.php so we will go to the app.php inside this app.php we are saying okay give me the application that means the real application and yes this file is instantiated by passing the base path then when we get the application then we are binding three important things the web kernel the cli kernel and the exception handling so after binding everything after newing up the application what we are doing we are saying okay use that app and from that app give me the kernel and yeah we know whenever we are calling kernel we get the kernel http file from our app kernel app http kernel and then we are saying okay when we get the kernel say to the kernel that hey kernel handle every request when you have the response from the request send that response to the user via web or cli whatever it is then call the terminate method on every middleware so this is the simplest way you can understand that how your application or laravel frameworks lights up or boots up that's why it is bootstrap so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye